One of the most in-demand solutions that I offer as an AI developer is an AI-powered website widget. It provides huge efficiency benefits for businesses, generating sales and saving time and money on customer support, which is why there are so many startups like Voiceflow, BotPress and StackAI. But the problem is that all of these startups charge literally tens of times higher per message compared to the plain OpenAI API. And with the release of the new Assistance API, there is absolutely no need to over pay for their expensive services in 90% of the use cases. This is why we at our own agency developed our own chat widget and today we are releasing this widget publicly so that you can too integrate your OpenAI assistant into your or your client's website without worrying about costs going sky high again. All you have to do is go to oaiwidget.com, add an OpenAI key, train your assistant and you're ready to go, completely for free forever. The only time you are required to pay is if you want to use advanced feature like actions or if you're selling these widgets as a service and you need to remove a watermark. If so, there is a small $50 a month investment. No, I'm just kidding, of course not. It's only $5 a month for unlimited messages and the first 200 people to redeem the code in the description will get the first month completely for free. So if you want to boost yours or your client's business without having to overpay for the OpenAI API, let me show you how to set up your own AI-powered widget right now. In this video, I will be cloning myself into a widget for my own website, which I never had time for. Not only it knows almost everything that I know about AI because it has access to all my YouTube transcripts, but it can also help you find the right AI solution from my website and then submit this information via the same API endpoint that we use for our contact form. Let's see how it works. Say, for example, I want a chat GPT for my business to chat with my internal documents. As you can see, it immediately asks asks me a few questions to help me determine my requirements. For example, questions about my business, types of documents and security considerations. This is almost exactly what I would ask, so this is already extremely helpful. But when I answer these questions, that's when the magic happens. After that, it immediately asks me for my project budget and contact details, just like a trained salesman. And then it submits this information and notifies the user that we will reach out in one, two days. You can see this new lead in my inbox. Perfect. This is honestly so much better than browsing my website manually and I can only imagine how many extra sales this is going to bring, especially with good prompting. Now, let me walk you through how I made this widget myself so you can do the same for your or your client's business. Go to oaiwidget.com and create an account. The app is as simple as it gets on purpose. But before we get started, we need to add an OpenAI key in settings API keys. If you don't have an API key, you can click on this link and create a new one. Make sure that your OpenAI account is on a paid plan and has an active payment method because otherwise GPT-4 preview model will not be available. After that, copy your API key, go back to OpenAI widget and paste it in a table with your key name. You can add multiple keys in case if you have multiple accounts or if you're selling these widgets as a service, just like I did. Now let's go back to my widgets page and click create a new widget. I'm gonna name mine RCNES because this is my name, I'm not actually VRSEN, it's pronounced Arsen. And in the description I will say that I help businesses leverage the power of AI. You can customize almost anything such as the start message, input placeholder, chat persistence, position and even preview all the changes live as you go. The chat persistence is more important than you might think. For example, if you choose to forget the chat after the tab is closed, it will help the assistant remember the instructions and will save you on token costs because the chat history will be shorter. Although in this case the users will not be able to continue where they left off. In the appearance tab, you can select your main color, launcher and assistant avatar and even toggle between dark and light modes depending on your website style. In the OpenAI tab, you can create or select your own OpenAI assistant. Make sure to choose the correct API key and if you already have an assistant with your data on this account, you can simply create it from the drop down menu below. However, please keep in mind that any custom actions that you previously added to this assistant will not work. So for custom actions, you need to buy the 
pro version and then you have to create the actions through our interface. The most important part when creating an assistant is of course the instructions. Remember that you can get super creative just by changing instructions and most of the time you don't even need all of these super complex chatbot builders if you know how to make a good prompt. For example, for a lead generation bot a common technique is to instruct your assistant to respond only after the user has provided their name and email and then connect to an API endpoint that sends this information to your CRM. Personally, my instructions are going to include three main points. The first one is that the assistant must answer any AI related questions using my transcripts from YouTube and never mention these documents to the user. By the way, if you have too many documents, what you can do is simply combine them in a single file before uploading. The second point in my instructions says that my assistant must help the customer determine their project requirements. And lastly, after doing so, it must then ask the customer for their name, email and budget and send this information via the send project details endpoint. I also recommend that you state at the end of your prompt that your assistant must keep the messages as concise as possible and never provide responses longer than 3-5 sentences each. This will help you significantly save on talking costs and reduce latency. Now, the question is, how do you add all your website's data? And this is actually pretty simple. All you have to do is clone the GPT crawler repo on GitHub, install the dependencies and then enter your URLs inside the config.js file. Then simply run npm start and voila. In just a few minutes you will have a file that contains all your website's data which I'm also going to drop into my chatbot. Save your assistant and now if you also want to add custom actions the whole process is just like on ChatGPT. Simply paste your schema and make sure to provide informative descriptions because it will help the model to determine how to use your API. For example in my descriptions I am reminding my assistant that it must first ask the customer for all the details before using this endpoint. This will allow you to better control its behavior. You can check out my previous video on how to create such an endpoint yourself with Firebase completely for free. After that, add your API key, apply your schema and update your assistant and you should now be ready to go. Let's test it out. For example, if I ask why I should not learn AI in 2023, it responds almost exactly as what I said in one of my previous videos, which is that AI is becoming increasingly complex, secretive and expensive. I do recommend that you test your actions first on ChatGPT because it allows you to see the debug statements. However, you can also just tell the assistant to use your endpoint and check the response. After I do that, it asks me for my contact details and after I send them, it says that we'll get back to you in a couple of days. The reason it says so is because the response from our API endpoint actually contains this exact phrase. This is another cool way you can make your assistant more steerable by providing additional instructions in your API responses. To embed your widget, go back to my widgets page, click on three dots and then copy your embed code snippet. Paste it anywhere in the head or the body of your website and you should be good to go. In conclusion, I believe that OpenAI is extremely likely to introduce a lot more exciting capabilities to this API very soon. So don't miss out, make sure to click on the link in the description, grab the coupon code and share this video if you want to support this project. And if you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments below. I do read all of them. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.